We're in the middle of National News Literacy Week. It's an event to help people better understand what information is credible and what's not. An AP poll found almost half of Americans say it's difficult to know if the information they take in is true. How can we recognize min misinformation and bias? Good question. Here's Heather Brown. Where do you get your news from? Uh, mostly from the internet. Television, of course. My school. Washington Post and LA Times. I work. It owns a YouTube. How do you know who to trust? I, I don't think you do. Uh, that's difficult. I think that that's a lot of what's kind of the problem. There are ways that you can evaluate information, take control of the information that you see, and verify it for yourself. John Silva helps educators teach news literacy. Part of it is to try to approach things with a healthy skepticism. Take this viral photo. This was after Hurricane Harvey in Texas of a shark. This is the freeway. Is this for real? Looking at it right now, I can't say for sure. It's not. Just a simple internet search can be one of your best friends. That's all it took to find a Reuters fact check on this post about the COVID vaccine. They found the article was missing context. How do you know to trust what you find on the Google search? It, it depends on, on the sources that you find. You have to go to other sources. You have to look at the, the fact check organizations themselves. They show their work. They provide their own evidence. They tell you how they made the determination. They have to have a track record with you. That is correct. Is there a big difference between misinformation and bias? Uh, yes, there, there is a difference. Misinformation is information that is false or misleading. And bias has a lot more um, subtleties, um, but its most important purpose is to influence us. He says organizations in the middle of this media bias chart tend to be more standards based. The who, the what, the where, and the when. But the chart doesn't easily separate opinion from editorial and ignores how bias can sometimes creep into news reporting. Are the news organizations that acknowledge and correct their mistakes, show their work, they name their sources, and they provide all the relevant context and background so that we can we can be um, thoroughly informed. And is it on us? Individually, yes. Because we're part of the world. Heather Brown. We should know what's going on. WCCO 4 News. Our expert told Heather that another valuable tool is a reverse image Google search, but that doesn't always work. One of his most important pieces of advice, if you can't verify it, don't share it. If you have a good question for Heather, just email her by visiting wcco.com links.